Betelgeuse, the famous red supergiant star in the Orion constellation, has captured our attention with its recent dimming. This could mean it's about to go supernova, an event that could happen any time within the next 10,000 years, or possibly even tomorrow. But what does this mean for us on Earth? In this video, we'll explore the signs of Betelgeuse going supernova, the expected brightness and visibility from our vantage point, and also other supernovae that lit and will light up the sky during our lifetime. The first sign that Betelgeuse might be nearing a supernova phase is its unusual dimming observed over the past few years. Normally, Betelgeuse shines brightly as one of the most prominent stars in the night sky, marking Orion's right shoulder. However, astronomers have noted that it has dimmed significantly, sparking speculation about its impending explosion. Recent studies have shown that this giant star has experienced multiple dimming events, suggesting significant changes in its structure. The star's surface has cooled, and massive amounts of dust have been ejected into space, which could be a precursor to a supernova. But what exactly is happening inside Betelgeuse? As a red supergiant, it has exhausted much of its hydrogen and helium fuel, and it's now fusing heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. When it finally produces iron, the star will run out of the energy needed to support itself, leading to a catastrophic collapse and explosion. Observing this event in real time could help scientists test theoretical models of supernova mechanisms, offering a deeper understanding of stellar evolution. We know that stars like Betelgeuse end their lives in spectacular fashion, but each supernova is unique, and this one, given its proximity, could reveal details never before seen. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, it will outshine every other object in the night sky, except for the moon. To put this into perspective, a full moon has a magnitude of about negative 12.6. Astronomers estimate that Betelgeuse's supernova could reach a magnitude of negative 18.5, making it several times brighter than the moon. This extraordinary brightness would make it visible even during the day. Imagine looking up at the sky during the day and seeing a star shining as brightly as the moon. This is precisely what astronomers predict for this supernova. It would appear as a brilliant point of light, not as a disk like the sun or moon, but still incredibly bright. It would also last for weeks, allowing sufficient time for people worldwide to witness it. Its light would be intense enough to cast shadows at night, creating an eerie and fascinating experience for observers. Let's delve into the math to understand why Betelgeuse's supernova would be so bright. The apparent magnitude scale is logarithmic, meaning each whole number change represents a brightness change by a factor of about 2.5. Betelgeuse currently has an apparent magnitude of around 0.5. A supernova with a magnitude of negative 18.5 would be approximately 100 million times brighter than Betelgeuse in its normal state. This calculation helps us appreciate just how spectacular this event would be. Now that we've explored the potential explosion of Betelgeuse, let's turn our attention to other supernova that have, and will continue to, illuminate our cosmos and enrich our knowledge. Take, for instance, SN 1054, which resulted in the creation of the Crab Nebula. It was recorded by ancient astronomers and has since been a subject of intense study. Its observations have provided invaluable insights into the life cycles of stars and the mechanics of these massive explosions. Similarly, Betelgeuse's supernova would be documented with unprecedented precision, capturing the public's imagination and inspiring future generations of astronomers. Another example is when the James Webb Space Telescope's images of Cassiopeia A offer us detailed views of the aftermath of the supernovae, revealing the intricate structures formed by these cosmic explosions. Also, there's an event called the Supernova Requiem, an ancient explosion we expect to see again in 2037, which shows us that these massive star explosions can happen over and over. The blaze star, T. Coroni Borealis, showcases another fascinating type of stellar explosion. As a recurrent nova, it erupts in brilliance periodically, captivating both the public and the scientific community. Observing such varied explosive behaviors enriches our knowledge of stellar explosions 
and the mechanisms driving them. Exploring supernovae like Cassiopeia A and anticipating events like Supernova Requiem reveals the recurring nature of these cosmic explosions, and the same goes for exploring varied stellar explosions. Building on this knowledge arises one of the thrilling aspects of supernova research, which is the detection of neutrinos. These elusive subatomic particles are produced in vast quantities during a supernova and travel through space, reaching Earth long before the light from the explosion. Neutrino observatories worldwide are poised to capture these particles from Betelgeuse's potential supernova, providing a unique window into the core collapse process. This would offer insights that visible light observations cannot, thus deepening our understanding of the forces at play in a supernova. The intense brightness of Betelgeuse's supernova, while not hazardous in terms of radiation, could pose risks to eyesight if observed directly through telescopes without adequate filters. Ensuring safe viewing practices is crucial to experiencing this event without harm, and relying on scientifically accurate information helps prevent sensationalism. Thank you for joining us on this stellar journey through the awe-inspiring phenomena of supernovae. From the historical legacies of ancient explosions to the thrilling potential of Betelgeuse's imminent supernova, these celestial events offer more than just a brilliant display in the night sky. Don't forget to subscribe to be updated on recent space news.